I still don't get it. Somebody explain how two people went flying out the window fighting over a gun. Really? Now, Paul, if you was doing all that tugging and shaking you was doing, you should have had that gun not end up out no window. Chris, and I guess windows are your new best friends. I'm guessing you like windows all of a sudden and you love them. You can't resist jumping out on them nowadays. Paul, I'm sorry you had to go through the window with the helper. But you should have had that gun, though, like, all that tugging and shaking you was doing. How could you not have the gun and it being your hand and not in hers? But, oh, well, y'all both went flying. Paul, I know you ain't going to be all right. Kristen, that was just a... Chris, you just hurt your booty, that's all. I'm pretty sure you going to be all right, too. Because ain't nothing killed you all this damn time. This time ain't going to kill you some. You'll be back next year. Maybe the beginning of next month. The middle of next year. Or something. You'll be back. You ain't gone. Exactly. Paul down there on the ground. Unconscious. Look like he dead. I think that's blood in the back of his head. Chris and ass on his head, ouch, and got up and started running, per usual for the damn Demaras. I told y'all that bitch ain't gonna do nothing but just fall on the ground, get back up, rub her ass, and go on back running. You can't hurt no Demara, no matter how hard you try, could you? You just can't. I guess that they got about a thousand lives in the one body. You can't kill no damn Demara. How the hell she survived that and got her ass up, I never understand it. Unless she let Paul take the blow for her, or she was on top of Paul. That's about the only way I know she survived that shit. And she was on top of Paul and let him take the fall while she did fall on top of him or whatever. That's about the only way I see it, but I don't think she had enough time to do all that neither, so... The hell for somewhere, she ain't gone. She ain't leaving that easy. Oh, God. Will and son, are we sitting up here for to play the blame game? Who fault it was? Why did I do that? Why did I... Okay, you two. Love it on up. Talk it on up. Chat it all up, I guess. Um, Will... Your boyfriend in the hospital, why you sit up there cuddling up with your ex, your ex-husband, your, your, um, your, your boyfriend in the hospital could be dead. I guess we don't care no more. You don't care, I don't care. Oh, this has happened. Guess who fault this is? Guess who problem this is? Guess who all the blame can go to? Why she was so busy fucking with Sammy and wanted to get paid back off of Sammy. Hope this is really all your fault. Because you let a criminal come into your town, town, hold up a whole wedding, shot at somebody, shot Marlena. Then on top of that, you let her run around doing whatever the fuck she want. Put two people in the freezer, not one, two people in the freezer, and now her and Paul that went flying through a window. Hope you're going to have to eat all this, because really, this was all done on your watch. Why you was so big, I, like I said, when I said it before, I hope you had fun with Sammy. I hope you feel better not yourself that you finally told Sammy off. I'm glad you got that off your chest or whatever, but you saw here and let a whole crazy bitch destroy your whole entire town. I mean, literally, fuck up somebody with him, shot the bride, put two people in the freezer, holding up a goddamn, um... A uh, sailor man had about four or five people helped up in there. Pulled the gun on Sammy. Paul tried to save Sammy and went flying out the window like, you take all responsibility for all this. Ever since Chrissy came into town to now, I want you to eat all of this, baby. Because you the commissioner. You the police. You supposed to protect, protect and serve. You done none of that shit. All you did was cuss Sammy out. That's about all you done. So I want you to eat all this hope. I want you to eat it up like it's soup. And I want you to enjoy it and sit and squat in this, goddammit. Because you let Kristen have fun and run amok all over Salem. And you ain't do shit about it yet. 
So I want you to enjoy this. And I hope Abe evaluate your ass and put this in there too. Maybe you won't be commissioner no more. Because like I said, you don't deserve to be nobody damn commissioner. I don't know how you even qualify for the job. That's why you're right there. That friends, family, and relatives of Salem, they get whatever they want to do, whatever the fuck they want to do. So I don't know how you got qualified for the job, bitch. Run around this town, destroying up your town. So I hope you eat this one and enjoy this one. Really, how I mean, not 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 that witch. Really, um, damn, K K, really. So you went to the pervert for help, and the pervert help. You know what? Whatever floats your goddamn boat. You know what? Enjoy yourself. Have fun with that cane. Whatever the fuck you and the pervert got going on, I want no part of it. I'm not trying to upset my stomach trying to figure out what the fuck y'all got going on or what the fuck y'all plan on doing and how you gonna have to pay him back. No fucking thank you. Oh my fucking God. Are y'all two idiots still running behind Sammy trying to arrest Sammy? Then y'all just, oh my God, y'all some flow. I hope and rest do y'all damn jobs. Really? I got no fucking words. Y'all really running behind Sammy? Really? Really? Didn't y'all just get a call that somebody fell out of a window? But y'all see Sammy, oh, she a priority, let's get her. Fuck Kristen. Or somebody that might be on the ground down, fuck a her, let's go get Sammy. You know what? Ooh. I cannot and will not with y'all too. I cannot. Oh, oh y'all some dumbness. Y'all, oh, mm -mm. I am so dumb with y'all too. Uh-uh. I can't ignore that dummy. Mm -mm. That's some idiocracy right there. And I want no parts of it. No. Now, hold the fuck on. I heard Steve was leaving too. He was the next on the list to leave after Paul. So, this is how y'all getting rid of him, too. Espionage. He got arrested. Kayla, I mean, Kayla didn't know about it. Roman Company. You know what? Oh, another dumbass. Days. Now, y'all was on the road. Now, lately. Y'all going down here. Like, what kind of fuck? So, y'all. You know what? If y'all wrote it, I guess y'all thought it was going to be believable. Ain't nobody believing that shit that Steve got arrested for no espionage and he a whole damn spy. And plus, he worked for the ISA. And them the fuckers that get you off of any damn thing. And you mean to tell me the ISA ain't interested in... Well, you know what? After that whole alcohol, that poison and shit, I don't think they fucking ride with Steve like that, so you can't count them in and you can't count them out because you don't know if they still fucking with Steve or that woman running around here with that old lady with that gun and fuck Steve up and I don't know if they still touching Steve with a uh, with a silver pen or not, so it's hard to say, though, but espionage, go tell somebody else that shit. Steve getting arrested for espionage, I call bullshit. Hold the fuck on. Now he going to, now you better go see him before he end up getting on the plane going to Washington. Go see your husband, Kayla. Really? They got all these documents and files on him. Really? Who? Really? This is how y'all exit Steve out for espionage. Go on and see him before he get on the plane to Washington. Y'all gonna see him to Washington to the feds that way? Really? Whatever. Whatever. So, Kayla, I'm catching down what you I'm catching down what you putting down. Or however the fuck it go. And I might have said it wrong. You trying to say this involves the pervert, that the pervert has something to do with this and set your husband up, and now they set him up. Them could be his charges, but somehow Stephen put them on him, and that is kind of fucked up that whole month, yeah, and now all of a sudden he getting arrested. I put nothing past the pervert. I don't like the pervert. So if you reading what I'm reading, 
Kayla, it was the pervert. Gone and fuck him up. I'm ready for him to him to exit already. I can only take enough of him, and I'm down for his exit damn scene. And Kay, you a silly bitch. You really are silly. This man and blackmail you. This man and put you in every... Girl, how do you trust him and know that he able to keep his word? He telling you facts like you able to trust him just like that? Like, really? Have you forgotten what Stephen done to your dumb ass? And you write him trusting him that, um... Pair of me, Mr. Shark, is gone for good and you ain't got to worry about him. You seriously trust this pervert, the same pervert that wants you to turn that wants you to turn over on Chad and give him information of what's going on in Titan for Stephanie can be prepared and take Chad down. You seriously think you can trust Kay, it's your funeral. It's only a matter of time before you be dead. I guess enjoy. You better kill him before somebody else kill him. Cause I wouldn't want to be. I, I wouldn't want my secrets to be buried with that old pervert. Apparently, you do so. You have fun with that and enjoy yourself all you want to. Okay, I wouldn't want no parts of that pervert nor him. So you have fun. Oh, so now y'all believe Sammy. Oh, now you confirm that somebody went flying through that window. Oh, now you believe him. Oh, now you're doing your, your job. Now, huh, dummy? I'm not fucking with y'all. Rife and Hope, go to hell. Both of y'all deserve each other. And both of y'all need to be punched in the face. And I hope both of y'all need up getting fired. Because y'all literally had a whole goddamn mini that could take the whole damn city. And y'all dummies right here running about Sammy. Fuck a Sammy, go get Kristen. But yet Sammy more important than Kristen, I guess. I didn't know Sammy was a high value of gold over Kristen, but okay. And Kayla, guess what? The order to help Steve, you got to tell on your own dummy self. You know, doing all what you done to Kay, blackmailing Kay, trying to give her evidence against Stephen. You know, all that shit you done to get that bionic out in the first place. Now, guess what? Don't Everybody don't know about that except you and Stephen. Now, you got to tell on yourself. And in order to tell on yourself, you got to tell on yourself on getting the eye. Then you got to tell on how Stephen might have set Steve up to have Steve in trouble right now. So everything Steve seeing through, through that eye, Stephen seeing too, correct? Ooh. Kayla, I told you this was going to come back to bite you in your ass. I didn't know how I was going to come back to bite you in your ass, but I had a feeling that bite was coming sooner rather than later. And like I said, he got Steve as good. I mean, literally, he got him good. And Steve, and Steve this is kind of your fault too, buddy. Like, I know it's all Kayla's because she should have been open and honest how she got that damn eye and how the fuck what she had to do to get that eye. I know it was too obvious for y'all and, like, too easy that she, yeah, she a doctor, but she got that eye that quick. Like, y'all should have asked more questions. Y'all should have sat down doing this and asked, if I'm looking through the eye, can somebody, like, y'all made a lot of mistakes on this whole thing. And, Steve, you should have been known, or I would have caught on, if I'm seeing through the eye, Ain't there's a camera in the eye for somebody else can see what I'm looking at? Like, y'all didn't ask all these questions. Y'all wish I die behind the guy's shit. I knew it was a fucking catch. It had to be a catch. Cause if you see him through an, um, an eye, uh, the motherfucker gonna have somebody else see him through an eye. So, basically, it's your eye, but you see it through a camera, and somebody else can see what you, mm -mm, see. I rather stay blind. I ain't got time for nobody looking at nothing I'm looking at on the computer, files, or anything like that. Recording my everyday, mm -mm, see. That's too wireless and too, um, Bluetooth shit for me. Uh-uh. No, thank you. I think, mm-mm. Yeah, Kelly, you fucked up big time, boo-boo. 
Yeah, Kayla, you got to tell it all now, honey. Ain't no avoiding it. Ain't no more lying. Ain't no more, ain't no more two-stepping. Ain't no more funky two-stepping. Ain't no that crisscrossing. Kayla, you can't get your ass out of this when you literally have to come clean and tell on your damn self and hope you don't get arrested right along with Steve. But you got to come clean now. And... Woo! You gonna feel good once you get it off your chest. Once you get this off your chest and you tell Steve this, you'll feel much better than you do. Cause I'm pretty sure you've been feeling like shit ever since he got that eye, and ever since Stephen won't sit his ass with it. A good, good that weight off your chest. You feel to feel like a brand new woman, not Kayla. So basically, passing up here reminiscing of the good old times when they was together, when they first started, Will selling his first story, etc. When he ran to Paris, when he started dating Paul, all that you know who shot John. Let's move it along now, cause yeah, y'all boring me, Will and Sunday today. I'm happy y'all together finally, but it ain't gonna be a happy reunion for y'all cause you know y'all both got to um be there for Paul now cause he gonna need all y'all love and support. Will love and support to Paul, not Sonny. Paul change with you ain't nothing never gonna change with y'all. It's amazing a pervert got all y'all life in his hands and he just sitting up there controlling y'all lives like y'all dummies and y'all puppies. I mean, it's a shame. Kay, I don't know how you live with yourself knowing what this man then put you through and knowing all the bullshit he done done to you and why he sit the Demaragoons on Ted and now he gone like you ain't his favor now. Look what he done done to Kayla and Steve. He gonna do the same bullshit to you when it come to Chad and Kate, if you like it, I love it. I wouldn't trust that pervert as far as I can throw him, but like I said, he threw you a bone. He threw you a live vest. You decided to wear it and let him pull you to shore, so enjoy yourself, Kate. Yeah. Oh, hell no. I think I didn't check that out of Simeon Rafe. Fest. No fucking thank you. I ain't got time for idiots today. I didn't deal with enough of Rafe and Hope for today. No thank you. Fast forward. Please hurry. I ain't got enough time. I ain't, mm -mm. ain't got enough time. No thank you. Bye. I'm sick of Hope ass and Rafe ass too. I cannot and I will not deal with their asses. No more the rest of this episode. Nope, they're too dumb for me this episode. Mm -mm. Sorry, can't help you. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. Fuck Chad. Forget about what Chad doing with Abigail. Why the fuck do you care so much, you pervert? Worry about the damn deals. Focus on the business. Fuck Abigail. You still worried about... You care about Abigail and don't care. Boy, I don't care how many times you say you not in love with Abigail. You in love with one of her authors. You in love with her two dumbass. Like, you so worried about Abigail and what's going on with Chad life and you find it so hilarious. Like, at least he do got a woman. He undecided about this woman or his wife. Where your woman at, pervert? I don't see you with a woman. I don't even see you with a baby. You picking at Chad and laughing at him by his choice with Abigail. At least he got somebody to keep him warm at night. Who keeping you warm in that big old ass bed you laying in? Besides the bed and the, and the um in the covers, of course. Who keeping you warm or the hookers you hired to keep you warm in bed? I hope you enjoy that. Why you sitting like that picking at Chad? Like, I don't get you. Like, you said you don't care. I know you don't like Chad or whatever. I know that whole Gabby with a wild bullshit. Yeah, she um Abigail. But, bitch, you love Gabby with a wild and you love Abigail. I don't give a damn. And the fact that you talk about Abigail all the fucking time and find Chad because he don't want to put up with none of her shit hilarious shows me right there you a nasty mofo and you ain't going to never be happy in your life and you want Abigail. Why don't you go? head and half, but don't nobody care. Oh. So this dummy thinks she... Okay. Stephen, I hate to break it to you. I know you hoping Chad to divorce her, leave her alone. I know be done with her. But even if he do, they still... They still... Sit, sit, 
They still share a child, dumbass. You think this your child, but this ain't none of your child, dumbass. If you actually think you have a shot with Abigail, you still another dumbass because you ain't going to never have no shot with her because you think Gabby with the wild going to come out and Gabby, you think... I'm not going there with them three personalities with your ass. I'm not going there with you neither, pervert. You really think yeah, I, I see what I, I see what's going on with you now. You hopping hard, Chad, like Kate said. If you think you ever have a shot with Abigail, you got another thing coming. Yeah, y'all might have sex. Yeah, you might seduce her with your old perverted wiles. But guess what? You will never date her. Even if she did decide to date you, you must go hypnotize her first. Because I do believe that she didn't have sex with you now. I think she over you, and I don't think she'll do it the second time. This me not calling Abigail the hoe, and she won't sleep with you the second time. I'm running with that. But, yeah, you really think you got a shot with her. Good luck, buddy, and don't hit your head too goddamn hard tonight in the bed, jumping in the bed. If you think you ever got a shot with Abigail, I think she'll rather kill your ass first than to sleep with you again. Oh, he really, uh, oh boy, I, if I was you, I'd get rid of the Gabby one a while, vision, y'all living together, y'all enjoying together, raising y'all kids, i get rid, ooh, I'm not going there with you in this Gabby way to why shit, I'm not going there with you, I'm not playing your little perverted games with you, this is not Saul, I do not want to play the pervert game, and I'm not going to play it, you can't make me. Oh, God, now we playing with we are psyche about loving Paul. Hell, you've been doing that for weeks now, almost months now. Well, why not, why not stop lying to him now? Go ahead and continue to lie to him. Let's see you lie to somebody that's in the hospital room then. Let's see how long you're going to keep this lie kicking that you ain't got your memories back. You don't want Superman all of a sudden. You remember everything. Let's see you continue to lie on the Paul. You've been doing it great all this time, why stop now that he's injured? Oh, look, we talk about Paul and what a good guy he is, and I shouldn't be doing this to him, but I've been doing it all this long now for weeks, carrying on the almost months, and all of a sudden I want to call, and I guess I want to come clean all of a sudden, I guess, until he get the call, until he get the answer, or Brady answering the phone, and telling him Paul not okay, he hurt. So this is where the guilt start eating your ass up inside, huh, Will? Sonny, you deserve some of that guilt too, Superman. Let's see y'all asses soon, because he going to wake up eventually, and y'all going to have to come clean the both of you. Because y'all both owe that man an explanation why y'all around here kissing. And still around here kissing. And this man up here in the dark getting hold, held up by a crazy person. But y'all sit up there reminiscing of old time and old memories that we all thought was gone forever. So y'all enjoy telling um, Sonny, I mean Sonny, Paul all of these lies. So crazy meat pervert. She come knocking on his door, all out of breath, tired, beating the damn door down like it's a drum. So pervert for the help crazy, I guess, get out of town now. Preston, I'm not surprised no shot you survived that fall. Of course you survived it. You let fall you let um Paul take the fall while you was on top of him. He took all the damn pain you did in like the fact that you walking, able to walk, talking, all that you able to do. Y'all Damaris, I guess y'all um, born with a million and one lives that y'all can survive shit, fall, survive falls, survive every damn uh, getting shot, getting stabbed. It's amazing how y'all down Damaris is a new type of breed to survive any goddamn thing. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.